Uh, if I just may revert back, you know, I'm not prepared to speak to people that have done something illegal. That the court must do. I mean, I am prepared to talk to people that say to me, look, I've got something to tell you. I've got a grievance. I want, to, I want, I want something. And I want us to discuss something. It's to those people I'm absolutely willing to speak. I'm not prepared to speak to the simple rioters. What are you going to do to the people and with the people you have arrested, the 820? Oh, no, they will definitely be brought before the court or released, one of the two. Do you uh, anticipate that will be a quick process? Well, I'm certainly hoping so, but there's a lot of people to go through, and of course the riots are, have just uh, come to an end now. That may take a certain amount of time. But um, we will do it as expeditiously as possible and get them before the courts as soon as possible and get the others that we don't want to charge released as soon as possible. Mr Minister, what is your view of the opinion of many people overseas that the riots are in fact a demonstration on the part of the blacks uh, for rejection of South Africa's policy of separate development? I don't think the riots can be uh, seen in that light because um, it's very difficult always uh, when rioting occurs, and it occurs all over the globe, to say that it's a rejection of policies. It may well be a rejection of policies, but it may be something entirely different. It may be, uh, it may be an overthrow of a government or something like that. It's not necessarily a rejection of a policy. It may be a total rejection of the white man, too. This is also a possibility. <laughs>